Canada Post done fucked it up again. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Izzy. This is the Izzy Nober Show. I was not planning on making another video so soon, but the recent events. Oh, fucking get on the post! Okay, listen. Do you remember a few months ago when I made a video where I was complaining about Canada Post losing my shit and then I would call them and they can't figure it out and they're telling me to do, to do things that, at least in my opinion, should be their fucking job to figure out? Well, it looks like they're up to that same shit again. I moved recently and my wife and I, we're busy people. We forget shit and it, it's... Who the fuck is texting you right now? Oh no, you I actually want to talk to. Okay. What was I saying again? Okay, so my wife and I just moved and we are busy people, we forget stuff. So the, instead of calling a thousand people and services and companies and just uh, taking a whole day out of our schedules to just update our address with everybody. We pay for this service, at least this is what we used to do because it used to work. We pay for this service by Canada Post that just forwards our shit from the old place to the new place. So that gives us plenty of time. I forget how much it costs because well, actually, it's actually... My wife is the one who paid for that, so I don't even know how much it costs, but that's what it is, mail forwarding. You pay for however much it is, and for three months, Canada Post, instead of like everything that's addressed to your old place, they just forward to the new place, in theory. We've used this service in the past, it always worked before, it, it was worth the money, it was worth the money. Problem is, was, keyword here is was, because I, my, my uh, old landlord, texted me uh, a few days ago saying that hey you got a per you know when you're not home and they're delivering shit to you and they give they they, they leave a little thing on your post thing you, you know what I'm talking about right I, I'd show you one but I, I probably already lost all of them that parcel delivery notice like oh sorry we couldn't catch you which is bullshit because I'd be home all the time and they never ring the doorbell I think they're just lazy like they came out of the truck I don't know how it works Canada Post so if somebody knows how it works correct me if I'm being stupid but I think what it is is they get up from their thing and they're like oh shit the box is in the back of the truck fuck it pull out a little parcel delivery notice thing uh, come get your shit at some other time put it on your thing and then just fuck off here's the thing i review tech products on my main channel i have a partnership with gearbest love those guys what they do is they send me a lot of shit that i would buy anyway i get to write about or make a little bit of money i recommend good shit to my viewers it's everybody wins it's a win so they, they sent me this thing. Uh, this is a uh, one of those uh, Windows tablet slash uh, laptop thing. So it's like it's a laptop, but actually you can just like rip the whole thing and then you can use it on its own like this. It's actually pretty fucking cool. They sent me uh, like a new uh, Android phone. This is like the second of three phones that they've sent so far for me to review. They sent me, I just picked this up today. It's like a, a Bluetooth slash, uh, you can use this on your computer or on your cell phone, you can put your cell phone up here, you can connect it to Bluetooth. If your phone doesn't have Bluetooth, it still works because it has a little, uh, what is it called, 2.4 gigahertz, whatever. I don't, I don't know how this thing works. So every day is like fucking Christmas here at the Nobra household. I keep getting cool shit to show to my subscribers. It's, it's amazing, it's great, or it would be if Get It A Post would stop fucking with it. My landlord texts me and says that I got one of those delivery notices uh, from a parcel from Get It A Post. And I'm like, well, I'm actually paying for that not to happen, so it's kind of weird that it is happening. So we call Canada Post, and of course, they don't know why that's happening. Somebody blamed the truck driver. Somebody blamed my wife on using my uh, my my legal name on the thing, and some of the, some of this mail is addressed to Izzy Nobri, which, by the way, Izzy isn't my legal name. My legal name is Israel. In case you didn't know, so we updated everything, and still. Two days ago, my landlord texted me again, hey, you got two delivery notices here. Uh, your shit is at Canada Post, you gotta go get it. Now, I'm like almost half an hour away from the place where this shit, uh, like we moved pretty far from where we used to live. So it's, it's a massive inconvenience to drive all the way out there to get this shit, especially because I'm the kind of impatient person that like I get a bot, like I get something and I'm opening the box inside the car and shit. Every time I have to go get one of these things, it takes forever for me to make it back home. It's a huge pain in the ass. So I called Canada Post. Hey, Canada Post, what the fuck's going on? I'm paying you f for this exact thing not to happen. You know what the fuck they told me? You know, you know what the fuck they told me? Do you do you want to know? Do you want to know? Lady on the phone says, uh -uh. why don't you just tell the people who are sending you shit the new address? 
Do you realize that the whole point of buying that service is for me not to have to do this? Do you realize that defeats the whole fucking purpose? It's like I call a cab, the guy never shows up, I call the cab place and they're like, Oh, you should maybe buy a car. Fucking I know I should buy a car. The reason I called you is because I don't fucking have a car already, you idiot. Seriously, get a post. what the fuck is the problem? What the fuck is the matter with you? I am paying for a service, you are not delivering that service, then telling me to do the alternative to buying the service I already he fucking bought! Oh shit, now the new neighbors are gonna hate me. So now I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I don't think I can get my money back on that because it's Canada Post. It would be, it would work too well if I could get my money back from something that they're not delivering on. So I don't know, am I supposed to be driving half an hour to get my shit because they're not, I, what do I do? Do I call them again? I'm gonna be on hold for fucking 40 minutes and it's still not gonna work. I know it's not gonna work. Fucking Canada Post, man. Canada Post, you are a disgrace to Canada. And, and, and we're the country that came up with Justin Bieber and Nickelback. Fucking assholes. Send my shit to the right place. Damn it, I'm paying you for it. Fuck. Canada Post, I want both my money back from the shit that your guys are not actually doing, and I want money for the blood pressure medication I'm definitely gonna need after this. But uh, yeah, that's all the time I have for today. I hope Canada Post is pissing off as much as they're pissing me off, because I don't want to be alone in this hatred. I want in the comments to be full of Canada Post hatred, because in the last video, there's a bunch of people, like months after the fact, months after I even get my, I already got my shit, there are people in the comments fucking mad as shit at Canada Post, and that's what I want to see in the comments of this video. I want everybody to be mad at this shit. I don't want to be mad by myself. This is the worst. It's the worst, it's the worst thing there is. You're mad at something, and you tell people the story, and people are like, oh, I went to that place that you're complaining about, and it was great. It was great service, the price, everything was great about it. That's the fucking worst. Not getting that validation on your righteous indignation because somebody fucked with you. Most of the time when we're mad at something, there's always the little, the little possibility, there's a the little thing. There's always the small possibility that you did something wrong. So you can't be 100% mad. You have to account for the possibility that you put yourself in that situation. In this case, I did nothing wrong, okay? I bought a service, they're not delivering on it. What the fuck? All right, let's calm down. That's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done. Who who do I send this to? Do I like the, the president of the fucking the, the guy that runs Canada Post? Guy or girl uh, who who runs this shit? Do they have a Twitter that I can send this to? Can somebody figure that out for me? Motherfuckers.